the Swans Radio's YouTube channel. Today's a match preview against Queen's Park Rangers. Um, this game will be going on tomorrow night. Um, it should be an interesting game. Both teams trying to play attack of football. Two decent managers at this level as well. And uh, um, QPR have picked up uh, four points out of nine and we've picked up seven. So we've both had a similar kind of start. And uh, it should be a very entertaining game at the Key and Prince, Fa Key and Prince Foundation Stadium. Uh, it's a new name of the stadium. I think uh, I think one of their youth players or something died, I believe, or went missing. And uh, they renamed it. So nice for QPR to rename it from the Loftus Road to the Key and Prince Foundation Stadium. Um, and hopefully, as, as they named it, uh, hopefully um, hopefully we do better than the 4 loss we did in April. Because that was horrendous. Awful performance by Graham Potter's side, but uh, hopefully things will change. Those QPR's form. QPR's form's all right. They've picked up four points, like I've said. Um, they beat Stoke away 2-1. Good victory with uh, Easy really shining in that game. Uh, he's a bright um, attack in midfield. I think he's 20, I believe. Very good player. Uh, been inconsistent, which is a bit frustrating for QPR fans. Uh, they got a draw against Huddersfield, which was kind of a disappointing result, I guess, considering how bad Huddersfield to start, and then I've defeated Bristol City away, which is uh, which is a hard place to pick up some points. Um, so they've done okay last season. They finished eleven for eleven. Sorry, last season finished nineteenth for eleven points to play the relegation zone. So they'll be wanting to do better than that this season. Um, obviously they got Swans legend Angel Rangel there um, Obviously a great player for us back in the day And he's still doing a half decent job for QPR They've got some experienced players such as Jeff Cameron who's re-signed They've got um, Johan Barbet who used to play for Brentford of course And uh, they've obviously got, instead of Jordan Hugel I think, I think, yeah, I think they've got Jordan Hugel as well So um, And they've got Naki well, so they've got quite a dangerous attack as well Going on to us, uh, there's only one at key injury concern, that's Nathan Dyer, who's going to be out, I think, this week. Um, we've got an hamstring injury, so best of recoveries for Nathan Dyer. I think Kalula's fit, but I wouldn't start him because he's been getting injured quite a lot. So going on to my sand lineup, it'd be Woodman Norton. I'd give Roberts a rest um, for s Sunday um, because Brett uh, Birmingham have got some good wingers. Uh, Van der Horn, Rodon, Bidwell. Grimes, Byers, I bring Byers and I think uh, we need to score a few goals in this game uh, Peterson, uh, Selina, AU and Bohar So I've made a few changes to that team A few which needed to change and a few which could be a bit controversial But um, for my match prediction I'm going to go QPR nil, Swansea City 2 uh, Andre AU with both the goals so whoever got their prediction right against Preston or Fenn will be on the screen in a bit now. Um, I think there's only one or two of you which had that right, so congratulations to you. That was an hard one to predict, so make sure you get your score predictions down below in this match preview. And uh, whoever gets the score predictions right, that to get scores, be about scores. Whoever gets it right will be given a shout-out for the match preview against Birmingham City. We couldn't get a uh, QPR guy on, but uh, I was going to try and get Hurst games on, but he's away, so that's unfortunate. But for the Birmingham, I'll try again somebody on. Um, so make sure you hit the like button, leave your comments down below for your score predictions. Um, thanks to our 800 subscribers as well, crazy. Um, get me to 900 ASAP. Uh, vlog will be out tomorrow night, so keep up for that one. Uh, it'll be really good game, QPR I'm going. Apparently McBurney's going as well, so uh, if I can see him, it'll be great to get an interview. Um, yeah, so that's all I can say. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll uh, make sure... You leave me a score prediction down below again, and uh, just overall, thanks for all the support. See you tomorrow. Come on, the Swans! Big performance, three points maybe. If not, then uh, rage. I'm joking. Come on, the Swans.